Hello everyone and welcome to this raw therapy tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the HSV equalizer here in raw therapy. So let's jump into it. Okay, so you can see here I have this picture. This is my friend Frank and he was helping me do a photo shoot a couple months ago. And we're just going to use this picture to kind of figure things out. Um, so let's go ahead and just make a few adjustments before we get into it. The first thing is I noticed my image is a little bit underexposed, so let's practice good exposure technique and increase our exposure um, and then increase the black a little bit to make sure our contrast is there. And then um, just for fun, I'm going to come here to the crop and I'm going to change it to a 4x5 crop and I'm going to automatically select my lens profile and that's right and then finally I'm going to just rotate this a little bit more and last but not least I'm going to increase the saturation by 20 and um, local contrast and vibrance by 20. Oops. I also increased the saturation by 20. I turned on the local contrast but I didn't uh, change any of the settings. If you want to know more about that particular tool I've done other videos on that. I'll put that in the I card in the upper right hand corner. And then I turn on the vibrance and I just said protect skin tones because if not, then uh, the skin will become kind of orange. And so I'm going to keep that. All right. So now let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have the HSV equalizer. H stands for hue and hue is a color relative to other colors. And we can use the hue in order to change different colors in the photo. For instance, if I wanted these trees to be more green, I could isolate them and then shift the green that they have to a different shade of green. Or if I wanted the sky to be purple, we can use the hue channel uh, to do that. The saturation, of course, increases specific colors uh, for saturation. So I could make the sky very blue, or I could desaturate everything but the skin tones, leaving a black and white uh, picture with one color. We actually did that in the previous raw therapy tutorial. And then we have the value, and the value is how bright or dark a color is. So let's go ahead and start with the saturation, and we'll go ahead and open up the saturation tab here. So down here at the bottom, you can see that I have my hue bar, and these are all of the available colors that raw therapy can see. And it starts at red goes into yellow, green, and then kind of a turquoise, blue, violet, and then back to red. So it's kind of a circle. What I do on one side will affect what happens on the other side. Then I have a vertical axis here, which is the, the amount. So the, the horizontal axis is the color, and the vertical axis is the amount. And let me show you how that works. So if I go ahead and click Right here, I have kind of a blue line. And then if I click above where I put that little point on my graph, I can pull it up or down. And as you see, if I pull this really far up to the top, my sky has become much more saturated, and some here in the water too. Although if I pull that all the way down to the bottom, you have to be careful if you pull too far off of the grid, you actually delete that point. If, so if I do that, let me pull this out here, make it a little bit bigger, then my sky becomes less saturated. Now the reason that it's a little bit difficult to see is because this shade of blue that I've chosen isn't the exact shade of blue in the picture. So I can kind of fine tune that and I can move this over and you can see the closer I get to this purple here, the more I'm attaining that blue and therefore it's becoming less saturated. So I can actually go like this. So now here's what I want to really point out is this is a graph 
and this is showing saturation. So uh, we have base saturation here. Think of this as zero and positive 100 and negative 100. So we're at zero. And then when we hit this shade of turquoise, we start going down, 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 down to negative 100. And where we see that this is white, that's negative 100. And now we're coming back up, and that's why we still have these shades of blue here. We're coming back up to this uh, kind of purple color, back to zero, and then continuing on. So I can do the same thing with the green. If I increase the green, and then I move it, I can, there we go. Now you can see I've really increased the saturation of the green. So this allows you to specifically pick out certain colors. And then what you can do is um, you can work on your curve here. So if I want this to be a nice gradual curve coming all the way down here, I can actually just grab my turquoise plot point and just pull it off. And there you go, I've deleted it and I have a nice curve. But let's say I want this to be really straight across here and then dip low. Well, if I put my mouse over this plot point, I can grab uh, the yellow side, which is the left side, or the blue side, which is the right side, and I can increase that, or I can decrease it. So if I increase that, I'm going to increase this side, sorry, when I say that, I mean this side of my point. I'm going to have a nice curve that's going down. I can do that the same with this one, Let's increase it. So now there's almost zero colors going from this yellow up to this yellowish green. Yeah, so and then of course I can reset my curve right here back to normal, the, the normal uh, default. So now that you guys understand, let's go ahead and edit this photo. Um, so I think I do want to increase the saturation for the trees in the background. I actually liked how that looked. I'm going to increase these, this yellow too, something like that. And I want this to be a little, I'm going to um, bring my curves in because I want, I want this curve to be fairly smooth. And then um, I'm going to also increase the sky blue. Now I have to be careful because you can see right here I'm dealing with um, some different shades mixing and you can see wherever I put my my mouse um, there's the corresponding line so if I click there's a corresponding line uh, right there to the color in my saturation channel so I can actually grab this and click wait no I'm sorry So anyway, so you can see where that color lies. So I'm going to move this over to there, a little bit further. I could actually just go ahead that actually doesn't look too bad. Okay, and then I'm going to delete this one and delete this this one I didn't grab it right there you go okay so now that we've done this with our saturation let's go ahead and open up our equalizer for the value and this is going to change the brightness and the darkness and what I want is I want to darken everything behind my subject which is my friend so I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Oh, using this tool, uh, using this tool allows me to select a color. Of course, if I turn it off, that doesn't happen. So I'm going to use this tool. And I'm going to look down at the numbers of the I and the O and see that 0.63. 0.63. Is where this plot needs to be. So 
grab it. And point six three, something like that. Okay, and now I can darken it. And then I'm gonna grab this tree, which is point one nine. decrease that. But now I want to increase the lightness of Frank's skin here. So point zero six, and then I'm going to increase that. I'm going to get rid of these. And mess with the curves here a little bit. Okay, so now if I turn this off, you can see that's the picture we started with. And if I turn it on, turn it on, um, you can see that a lot has changed, but we've also introduced a little bit of noise here in the camera. And so let's fix that by adding a little more black into the picture. Something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I hope that it's been helpful for you. I find that I am constantly doing the majority of my work in photo editing using this HSV equalizer. It is an incredibly powerful tool. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you next time.